When you see police flashing lights, you may get a little nervous. If you're black, you might be scared for your life. This is just one of the points motivational speaker and author Dwayne Bryant shares in his book, The Stop. 3 News Now reporter Danielle Davis spoke with Bryant on his book and how to improve police and community relations. Good morning, Danny. for support teaching of principles. With everything going on right now, this book sums up various situations very eloquently to let people know how to survive the stop. Countless protests and riots, all aimed at the anger and frustration people are feeling about unarmed black people being killed by police. We finally got white voices saying, okay, this is systematic across the board. We need change. I think real changes should be able to be made now. And wanting to bring about change is why Bryant wrote the book, The Stop. It's about helping people understand how to safely deal with being stopped by police. According to the FBI, many neo-Nazi and white supremacists have joined law enforcement. There's over 18,000 police um, departments across the nation. That means if we look at infiltration, that means I don't know which officer is coming. I don't know if this is the professional officer who has taken their oath to protect and serve seriously, or I don't know if this is that racist officer who is hoping to see me and hoping to exacerbate the situation or, or make me you know, angry to a point that it could be some kind of chaos. So because I don't know which officer is coming, and because I tell all black people, you don't know which officer is coming, you want to be prepared, you want to have your plan in place, and you want to make sure that you totally increase your probability that there's going to be no drama in this stop. And I tell everyone, you have power over your words, over your body language, and your tone. He says, we must start with mutual respect, personal responsibility, and accountability. Because the reality is police are just as afraid as we are. The difference is they have an ability to react quickly with lethal force. And it's that lethal force he is trying to eliminate. Author Dwayne Bryant is college educated, successful, since each time he is pulled over, he knows police only see a black man. Because the reality is we're all nervous. Every time I get pulled over, even though I wrote the book, there's still a level of nervousness there. He also knows the situation can go horribly wrong or perfectly right. Lights on, hands visible, not too much fidgeting, you know, be calm, have your ID ready, answer the question, and then just wait, wait for the responses. Why did you pull me over? No, totally unnecessary. And although each incident has its own variables, the end result is the same. An unarmed person is dead. This problem between police and particularly the black community is a human problem. That means there's a human solution. Change legislations, have accountability for law enforcement, hold law enforcement accountable, make sure we're reviewing police contracts, make sure we know that we do not have races leading police departments, we do not have races in the police department. That change has to be a community-wide effort. That's why organizations like 100 Black Men of Omaha are so important. We've actually had a couple real talks uh, with the police and um, you know, they just taught us like what well, they taught us what to do and what not to do. Or just the learning ability of seeing what other uh, professional men around them, their mentors, are doing so that they can resemble that as they grow older. Brian adds that although people can change their reactions to police when being pulled over, he does hold the police to a higher standard as they are being paid to protect and trained to de-escalate situations. Now you can get the stop on Amazon. Now Bryant usually travels to different school districts as well as community organizations to deliver his message. But due to COVID-19, he has taken his improving community relations with police online. And you can find more information on our website. This is Danielle Davis, 3 News Now This Morning. Courtney.